So uh, this is actually the first video that I've made since coming out and it took a lot of time to try to figure out exactly uh, what to review, what to look at, uh, and, and, you know, either a Lego product or a mock I've made myself and ultimately I chose a mock I've made myself. It's a, it's a theme or a, a video game series that I've uh, explored numerous times in the past and something I've built upon uh, over the last three years. Uh, I am, of course, if you're a very, very loyal fan of my YouTube channel, uh, you'll know that it's, of course, Doom. Yes, this is my Doom mock now. Uh, I have upgraded it and modified it uh, to the umpteenth degree, and I think it is at the uh, pinnacle of what it could be. Uh, just a massive, massive mound of bodies, skulls, and... Uh, demons, imps, and things trying to uh, just uh, it, just get the doom guy up at the top. And this uh, this was actually created by me uh, during a power outage. Um, the top of it, of course, was the the very basic uh, part that I had up and, up until that point, and I uh, made the uh, plinth that it now stands on, along with the uh, the doom logo here. That's actually like a, a, a side built um, representation. You can see it there. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing a bit of the greebling uh, here uh, as part of the black that you can barely see there. Uh, a lot of fun overall with the, uh, the design. Uh, as you can see, it uh, features a lot of my imps that have uh, glued on horns. These are uh, white barbs that I just kind of cut down to size and glued on their heads using, um, you know, what else? A craggle. <laughs> so yeah, what, you might ask, uh, what's the whole point of this? What, why did you make this? You know, uh, why did you make this weird white and red monstrosity with a green thing on top? <laughs> well, uh, besides being a big fan like I've elaborated on before, uh, I just felt like there was a better way, there had to be a better way to showcase Doom Guy fighting off these imps, fighting off these demons, uh, than just spinning the whole thing around like, like I just did. So I decided, you know, what better way than to have, have it uh, spin on its own, you know? So that's why I have this big plinth. Over on the side here uh, is a very, very hidden uh, little little, uh, <laughs> little dial. And I can spin the top ever so slightly to show Doom Guy just blasting all the way around, kind of like a Matrix-ish sort of uh, slow motion uh, uh, feel to it. And uh, I, I just think that really, really works out very well. I, I can't do it that many times. Uh, because uh, I'm afraid it might be might break on camera, but yeah, that's just a really really cool um, aspect that I like to add into it. Along with the with the other uh, random uh, Easter eggs here, there's a an apple in this cave is a uh, uh, Minecraft skeleton. In the back we have uh, the Curiosity rover because of course this is all happening on Mars. You know this is why we should uh, invest in the space program, guys. We got to invest in. Uh, our demon fighting capabilities. Uh, over here, <laughs> over here we have the shrugging, ah, guess I'll die skeleton. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, also we have uh, one of the uh, flying skulls that are uh, in Doom a lot. Um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this. Um, oh, uh, lest I forget, of course, Doom Guy's bunny, Daisy. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. Um, this is, my, of course, my favorite mock of all time. And so I, I, I keep it in place of honor up on my shelf. And uh, yeah, uh, 